Hey everyone, welcome back to Play Crastination Population 361, and welcome back to the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Link needs a chiropractor, apparently. Uh, today we are heading into... What was this thing called? Nope, no, wrong button. Hold on, what was this thing called? The Savage Labyrinth. With never-ending darkness and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm gonna need this darkness to only last for about 30 minutes, because that's about how long episodes are. Why, hello. Hello. Hi there. Nope. This is not quite what I was expecting right off the bat, but, uh... It's okay. This, this is pretty simple. I hope you guys like the sound of dinging, dinging, donging. You know, we can also probably just do this, and it's probably just as simple. Okay. So it appears to be... Is this going to be like a uh, a Pit of 100 Trials kind of thing from, like, Paper Mario? The Thousand Year Door, I should say. It seems to be something similar to that, where every time you kill a certain number of enemies... Hello? It seems to be a, every time you kill a certain number of enemies, you get to go down to the next floor. No, I don't really... I don't really know how to make these guys appear. Hello? <laughs> you just call for them? Maybe that'll do it? Hey, buddies. There they go. Is that the last one? Please, thank goodness. So yeah, it's probably just going to be like, I mean, the first enemies were extremely easy, although we took damage. Those enemies were extremely easy. My guess would be it's going to be like an increasing difficulty every floor we go down um, until eventually we reach a point that no human being could ever sustain. Uh, at which point I will probably cry, give up, and start the episode over. But that's actually not going to happen because you have nothing to worry about. Ended. Ended. Now... When I, when I compare this to the Pit of 100 Trials from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we're obviously hoping that there's not a hundred floors. Like, I, I'm hoping for, like, a nice 20-floor boy. Although, I mean, it's good practice because we're probably going to fight a lot of enemies when we go to fight Ganon anyway. Excuse me? And so I feel like it's pretty good preparation for us, Preparation H, if you will. <laughs> Uh, for us to be getting ready for that battle by refighting all the enemies in the entire game. Now, we're still nowhere near actually getting to Ganon yet, by the way. <laughs> oh, also, just, just... Wonderful. Uh, I also just now realized... Just now realized that I completely and utterly forgot to check up on the ghost ship. But that's okay, it seems like this episode's going... Or this, um... This trial is probably going to take up most of this episode, so I'm sure I'll have time in between these episodes to to actually uh, to go look that up. So we'll be fine in that regard. We'll figure out how to get on the ghost ship. I, heard, I already got my hunches. Actually, I, I'm lying. I have no idea. My hunch is that I'm going to type it into Bing.com, and then that won't give me the right answer I'm looking for. So I'll type it into Goggle, and then once I type it into Goggle, I'll be in a good place. So any reason that's fiery now? Oh, we got the multi-waves. We got the multi-waves at the same time, huh? That makes me feel better about our progress. Like, we're probably making it a little bit further. Like, uh, once they start mixing the waves together, you gotta feel pretty good about yourself, right? You would think. Also, how does nobody on this island know that this place exists and there's all these demons down here? Okay, so obviously you're gonna want to get rid of those things first. Alright, obviously I'm backing right into this guy, which is pretty much just horrible for me. Okay, got rid of him, got rid of him. The key is consistency. No problem here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? I love this bag. Thank you. The key is consistency. And if it's taking us like, so for example, if, if this is like, this is kind of like Dragon Roost Island. So if it's taking us from area to area, well, then unfortunately we're nowhere near the end of this thing. Like I said, strap yourselves in. I hope you like seeing some wicked sword play. Oh golly jeepers. AKA, I hope you really like watching me press the B button as <laughs> over and over and over as fast as I can, because that is legitimately all you're going to see in today's episode. At least it looks like thus far. Although, this one has lights next to it, but I can't tell if that's like uh, you're about to fight a mini boss or something, or... Nope, no mini boss. It was just for lighting effects. Cool. I love, I, lo I just love effects. 
like I said, get ready to, to like if you could see my controller on screen right now, like well you can, you can you can see the buttons, but if you could see what the buttons were correlated to, let me tell you, you're only gonna see B being pressed because this episode, well I don't do titles on my videos anymore because they're kind of annoying. Let me guess, jump out of the pots. What? Oh, it's like a refresh, which means we could probably get hearts. Okay, well that's quite unfortunate because that means we're literally just starting. <laughs> it's literally going to be a hundred floors, isn't it? I just cracked my knuckles, so obviously I certainly hope not. And now, yes, we are in fact not on Dragon's Roost Island anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. We are in the second area, which is the Forbidden Fort, for the Forbidden whatever it's called, which means we're probably going to have to go through all of the places. Like, each area is probably going to be another place. So we probably have, like, 50 floors worth of fighting. Which means I should probably treat this, because, like, here's the thing. So, Isaac's back on the channel, by the way, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to that. But the Binding of Isaac is, in fact, back on the channel, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, because Isaac is one of those games that most people, at least, aren't looking for your commentary in terms of reaction to the game it's one of those games that you know most people that are watching it kind of get it and if they want to see your reaction they'll go back and watch your first episodes but for the most part they kind of understand that like people that play Isaac are playing it because they've already put in lots of hours into the game very very rarely do you see like I think you have like a video like a Markiplier plays it or something and plays like two episodes worth of it, you don't get a gist of the game in that amount of time. And so there's very, like, that kind of content for Isaac doesn't do very well. Hence, when you're playing, yeah, you have to talk a little bit about strategy and stuff, but you're not really talking about, like, it's different than, like, if I try to do the equivalent to that in Zelda, it would be like, it would be like this. Okay, so now I'm going to press the B button and the B button again. Now, the, oh, I forgot to block there. Uh, I'll try to press the B button and then maybe press the B button this time. And I, I'm thinking we'll press the, uh, yeah, we'll just press the B button there. And then I'll go over this enemy right here. And I think I'm, so it doesn't really work that well. Uh, Zelda, well, also it just doesn't work because this is just kind of a weird area in general. But, like, in Zelda... Mostly it's like you're talking out loud trying to solve the puzzles, which is similar to like talking and Isaac trying to um, not solve the puzzles. I hate these guys, but I love that we can kill them in one hit now. It's similar to trying to um, strategize in Isaac. Now, the only difference is like, so like, like I said, your impressions aren't that big a deal. So like when I'm playing things in this and I'm seeing them for the first time, I'm like, wow, that's a cool thing. Look at, look how cool that is. I'm not really doing that unless there's a new Isaac and, uh, and a new item in Isaac, I should say, which there very rarely is. Um, however, this type of, um, wow, that works that easily. I did not know that. And that makes me feel so dumb for ever getting close to them. Um, however, something like this, where it's just kind of mindlessly fighting enemies, is kind of a decent time to do more of an Isaac-style commentary of talking about things in my life, things in... Because otherwise, like, what are you doing here, you know? Kind of just wasting your time. I was like, there's gotta be guys in the pots. Don't tell me there's not men in pots. Um, let me tell you guys right now. It's cold. I'm not gonna lie. My parents, I've gone over this before, I'll go over it again. They're cheap individuals, which is not a bad trait. I'm not saying that like, it's oh, good, they like to, they care about their financial security. No, it's not what I'm trying to say, although sort of. Um, they, especially when it comes to um, heating and cooling, aka comfort of life, anything that's like quality of life assurance, like Creed Ashwoods, or what's his name? Creed Brat. Anything like that, they could give two hoots about. I'm saying get the owls up in here. They don't care about it at all. Uh, which is why they actually don't turn the heat on until typically like first snowfall, but not actually. Typically like first frost. Like the first time we wake up in the morning where there's frost on the car, they'll go, okay, maybe it's time now. Because, you know, we're still in, no, it's, well, it's almost November. It'll be November by the time this comes out. Uh, but it's basically in the time period. I can't tell if this is doing any damage. I think it is. Um, it's basically in the time period where it could still very, very easily. Please stop. Please stop. Hey, how's it going, guys? Okay. Uh, we're still in the time period where it could very, very easily help. Um, 
you know, it gets like the, the days are weird. It's a weird time of year where it's like you wake up in the morning and you need a coat and then or at least a jacket. But then when you like get in your car to go home for the day, it's like 75 degrees and you're sweating your tail. Pie. You call it tail, t- tail took us off. So I get it. I get not wanting to, you know, commit to the heat when you don't need to. And if it's earlier than you need to, that makes sense. It's fine. You can do what you want. It's not well, I'm not paying for it. So I definitely have no say. There we go. Perfect. Back to full health. So as long as we uh, do fine, and we actually have a fairy in a bottle, so I don't think we have any issue of of dying on this. So it's really just about... Okay, I was like, I don't see an exit, which is ma- I was confused. I was like, is this the end? But no, this is this is not the end. This is just when we went into the temple of the gods. Hello, I'm going to be set on fire. Uh, this is just when we went into the Temple of the Gods, so, it, again, we're just going through all the different areas. Again, weird that this is on the starting island and uh, nobody knew about this. They should have maybe, you know, thought about looking into this, but no. So I can understand it, but I live in the basement, my friends, and oh my god, with two giant windows next to me. Okay, let's try our new strategy. Strategy abandoned. <laughs> strategy abandoned. With two gigantor windows next to me... And let me tell you, it is so flipping cold in here. I, I'm like, I'm wearing sweatpants and a jacket right now. I just bought some sweatpants. They're pretty nice. They're actually technically called, they called joggers, but I can tell you I'm not doing any jogging in them. Um, but like, it's so cold. I, I sleep now with three blankets every night. Be- Thank you. I was like, can you put that in his mouth, please? I sleep with three blankets every night now because it's about the only way I can get to sleep without uh, dying of hypothermia. And it's just a lot of fun. Where was I going with this? Oh, I'm just trying to say it's cold. <laughs> That's the one of the joys of living Missouri, though, is that literally we had a little bit snow flurries on the weekend and uh, it could literally be up to 75 again next week. Who knows at this point? What do we got here? Jump in the pots? Jump in the pots. I'm letting go. Please. Please do not do that to me, if you could. Gonna ask that you don't. Gonna ask that you don't. Gonna ask that you do not touch me. I've been touched. Like a virgin. Well, maybe not quite. That's it's a little strange thing to say, but... Um, oh, God. Again, this is just gonna be so much fighting of enemies that it's like... I'm sure you want to see it. I, I'm getting inside of your guys' psyches right now. And let me tell you, you guys most definitely want to see it. Here's the other problem, which uh, I'm very cleverly disguising right now. <laughs> what? Uh... Here's the problem, which I'm cleverly disguising right now, is that in Isaac, I can talk about random stuff, but then I can also switch over and uh, talk about strategy because there's constantly things <gasps> popping up. So it's a nice balance. That while I'm talking about strategy, I can be thinking of the next tangent to go off of. Let me tell you, let me be 100% honest, that it's cold in my room was the only thing I had to talk about. <laughs> Which, let me, let's be honest, if you guys aren't watching my videos to learn about the temperature of my room, then I, you might be on the wrong channel because that's it's about all I talk about. Uh, I can tell you about other things like the temperature of the outside. Well, I've kind of already hit on that as well. Uh, I can tell you about the temperature of my workspace. My boss is not like my parents. He shells out money like no one I've ever seen, but he likes things very cold. Okay, I hate this. Uh, my boss enjoys him some cold tempies. Uh, so our thing, also he's in China, by the way, so it doesn't actually affect him at all. But our office is set to 63 degrees. Let me know what a, what's a cool temperature for you guys. Like, what's a perfect internal doors temperature? Right around 70 for me. That's pretty much where you go. My parents keep it at about 66, usually. My boss keeps it at 63 because he just loves being cold, which is so much fun. I love it. Really, just ideal. Okay, so, like, these are going to blow up, and I'm a little frightened, but... So, I'm going to take out the skellies first, because... They're in the way, and then we can worry about these guys. Oh, I tried my best. I tried so hard and got so far, and the end of it doesn't even matter. Hey, how's it going? 
like, oh, I was really hoping that that would get inside your mouth. These guys are so easy to kill, though, so it's really not that big a deal. Okay, perfect. And this wave. Um, I wonder if it's going to separate the Earth Temple and the Wind Temple. I'm trying to think if there were unique enemies in each of those. What was in the wind? I can't even remember the wind temple, man. We had the reflection. Oh, yeah, we did have those one guys, so probably will. I mean, these are like. OK, I forgot to bring out my sword, so that's on me. It's completely 100 percent on my bad. Uh, uh, ooh, caught you leaning. How's the bikini line doing? Pretty good, I would think. How's it going? Oh, my God, I love slicing them up the rear like that. They never see it. Coleman, uh, excuse me, I've been sliced and or diced. Now, the problem is I think we only get two hearts back when we finish each of the areas and we've now expelled over two hearts worth. So we're probably going to end up reaching a point where we're losing more HP than we're gaining. And that's when we're going to be worried about things. But until then, I don't have to worry about things. Hello. <gasps> it's done. It's done. Thank the Lord. I was like, I was like, don't get me wrong. I love talking. I talk a lot about the most random things in my entire life. I was about done. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, 50, oh, sorry, 15-ish minutes in. And we've acquired chest number one, which is treasure chart number one. Now, I would like to try and get two more before this episode is done. So, the first... Hello? Hello? Perfect. Um, I thought I saw a giant statue down there. You know, knowing me, I probably just messed up royally. And my guess would be that we could have done something else down there. And I was too excited to get out of there to actually look. It looked like there was a statue that maybe we could have picked up and moved. I'm sorry if that's the case. Okay. So back down to our boat now. Oh, the wind. I listen to the wind. Um, so what we're going to do first is head to Windfall Island. At Windfall Island, we're going to talk to the teacher, Miss Mary, who I believe, uh, or actually we know, is the owner of oh, uh, Mary's Pies and Emporiums. Uh, we know that she's the owner of the cottage that's out there on the ocean where we know that one of the treasure charts is inside of. So we need to get permission or a key or some sort of way to get into there. And the easiest way is going to be to just go to Windfall Island and I guess get permission from her. So we will try to do that. And we'll also try and get the other one with the seagulls done today. And then next episode will be reserved just for the ghost ship. Um, which honestly, I think is going to take a lot of trial and error because it's going to be basically just going to the different places where is that guy new? I think he is. It's basically just going to be going to the different places where we know. Also, how do I get that chest? It's going to be going to the different places. Wait, that's the rich man. Hmm, and who might you be? Why do I get the strange feeling we've met before? Ah, it's you. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear Mila was saved by a group of kind pirates. The pirates had a leader. Tetra. I believe said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. That's kind of uh, a really nice story, actually. So, that's cool. Where was I? Where was I going? Oh, yeah, the, the, the lady. The ghost ship is pretty much going to be, like, sailing the seas until... Are you the one of the daughters? Hey, you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, that won't do. That won't do at all. Already, I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um, Welcome to you, sir. Oh, she's working. Mm, she got to make some money for her dad. That dude's still dancing up there. I wonder if there's anything we can do with him. Um, It's literally just going to be attempting to find the ghost ship, which appears at different parts of the map on different nights. And I have no idea how to control the moon. Maybe there's a Wind Waker spell we were supposed to learn by now, but I don't know. Okay, ma'am. What can I do for you on this fine day? I need to talk to you. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man. Your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Okay, so let's get out the joy pendants because I know she loves them. We have 25 of them. Hello. <gasps> my dear, that's a joy pendant. 
To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, 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 insist only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's for the birth. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Get some money. Okay, so what happens if I give you 20 of them? And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. So what if I give you 20 of them like you wanted? I have 20. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 24? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me! Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with a thrill of excitement, so this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them. Thank you. That will do just fine, my dear. My heart will be a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promise, I reward you for going out and collecting all of these from me. I'm going to give you a wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. <laughs> the cabana deed. Da da dum. You see, although I'm but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south, but lately I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. Oh, it's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Now that you have this deed, the cabana is all yours. You own it, so whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting in on the age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax and continue work to work with my children. And just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny lonely island near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it's your own little... Bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. All right, little creepy. Maybe she'll come visit me while I'm... She's got said it's a bachelor pad, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not for long. Okay. Let's let the children know she's having a good time. Hey, she's pretty happy. It's her birthday soon. Boss. Oh, should we get her a present? Oh. Ooh, maybe you should get her some joy pendants. Ooh, she loves... Okay, well, yeah, we've already given her every one that I own. Shut your... Stop. Leave me alone. Stop. Kids, 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 kids. Sometimes you get a little too excited. Okay, where's our boat? There it is. We know your boat. Uh, so we need to head back from whence we came, which is two things. One, we need to go to the island of the gulls. One, we can now go to the island of the house. So, which way is the wind blowing? It seems to be blowing in a westerly direction. It is blowing in a westerly direction. And I've forgotten already. If we look at the charts, we can see that the they're right there and right there so we want to get as close as possible as we can to them oops we want to get as close as possible as we can to them and if the wind's blowing westerly well unfortunately there's not much we can do but i'd like to go to the cabana first if we could oh what have i done I don't know what I did there. I just really, I just really felt like conducting. Sometimes you just get swept by an urge that you can't really explain, you know? So we want to head to this one and then we'll just head kind of in a northwesterly direction, even though it, we're going in a westerly direction. It, wind, it works guys. I promise. hundred percent. Oh, wrong tube. Oh my God. I literally just started drowning. Okay. Speaking of drowning, a lot of ocean. We haven't seen a shark in a while. And let me tell you something, never been happier. Okay, grab this. Nope, that is not even sort of what I wanted. Grab this and we will head, like I said, northwesterly direction. Um, um, it was this way this way. Uh, that's the island right there. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the island, guys, because like I said, we still have a decent amount to do today, and if there's, you know, things to do on this one and on the Gull Island, it's going to take even longer. Actually, we're stupid. We should head to this one first. I'm Because the wind is going to not cooperate with us as much, so I'm going to head to this one first so I don't have to change the wind direction. That's stupid. It's going to take me so long to get there. I'm going to this island, and uh, basically, just let me, let me just join you guys when I'm there. Okay, so we've made it to the island cabana, which is now ours. Now the hope is that we we give this because like we collected 20 joy pendants throughout the entire game. That's enough work. I feel like if it makes us fight, it won't. I see almost no chance that it makes us fight something. I think we're gonna walk inside and I think the Triforce Shard is just gonna be there, which makes you wonder what did Miss Marie have with a Triforce Shard? Don't touch me with those filth Okay, we ahem, this cabana belongs to the master alone, you grimy oh. 
Hmm, well, I can't help but think maybe you want to rethink that. Oh, could you perhaps want to think about this? You scumbag. Ew, unclean, most foul, don't lay those grungy- uh, Wait, that, that, that's, why that's the, are you, are you the new master? Are you Master Gilmore? Uh, I'm so pleased to hear that name, Master Gilmore. Please be gentle on this fine door. Why can the door talk? Don't like the fact that it can talk. I also don't like the fact that the knob is his hand. <laughs> that makes me most uncomfortable. Also don't like that I can see his butt here. Okay. What am I going to have to solve this riddle? We have a, we have a bathtub. Yes, I am going to have to solve the riddle. Hello. So it seems there is most definitely something in there. Let me to go ahead and just grab this really quickly. Can't use it in here, huh? Let's try solving this puzzle first because clearly, uh, Master, do you have an interest in the amusements of nobility? I do indeed. Well, in that case, would you care to hear an explanation of the game? No, thank you. I think I know how to do it. Very good, Master. Please enjoy yourself. Okay. Uh, this should go swimmingly. I used to do these I'm not going to say all the time, but I definitely recall doing them at least, um, mm, what do you want to do here? I recall doing them at least at one point in my life. <laughs> there was, I used to have this, um, this is just going to sound strange, but I had this like Mickey Mouse game. I'm not sure if anybody else had the same game. I'm sure multiple people in the world can have the same game. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody else had it though, but the final boss was one of these puzzles and I used to just play it all the freaking time in an attempt to get all the puzzles because I just want to prove that I was the very best like no one ever was, you know, catching them on a real test, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Um, but I would say that my skills since, uh, this is, let's just say that this is not a task that typically comes up that often in, in my line of work is trying to solve a puzzle of this caliber. Um, now that doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to do it because I am <laughs> maybe, uh, probably not, but it, it's probably going to take these broken wings and learn to fly again would be my guess. AK, it's going to take a very long time. I'm also realizing that, okay, so that looks right. And then we need his hand to go there, which means I need... Oh, come on, brain. Come on, brain. You got this. All right. So this is probably all we're going to be able to do in this episode is try to figure out this puzzle because, okay, mm take these broken wings and land to fly again. Okay. Bottom row has been completed. You just got to go one row at a time. Now, hopefully it stays. Do you wish to quit? Please stay. I will, I, I'm nervous it's going to undo everything I just did if I quit. Like, I want to turn around and see where the water goes. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to kind of get along with it as best I can. Okay, that seems right. Uh, does it, though? Hmm. Also, has anybody asked her why she has this young boy picture in her? House, nobody's curious. All right, something is clearly wrong here, but we're, we're getting on the right track. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking kind of good. Let's, um, let's switch these up a little bit. Hmm, something like this, perhaps. Okay, bring that up, bring that up. This needs to come down, I believe. And then we need to get something like this going, but that seems also mostly incorrect. I think this piece needs to get up towards the top, so we should try to get it over there. We should try to get this piece up where it belongs, which I believe is right there. Yes, it does. And then this piece belongs right there. This will go here. This piece clearly needs to go like up here-ish. Yeah, that's looking about right. Mm, we're getting there. We're so close, but no cigar, as they say. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Ooh. Oh, 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 slide it, boy, into place. Look, he's done, and that's it. it. Oh, it's only one light. There's... Um, what? Okay. 
Okay, so he poops rupees. I did not like that heart. So here's the thing. Um, I solved the puzzle. There is only one thing lit out of like 60, which makes me feel like there's probably a thousand puzzles to do. I must apologize. It'll take me just a moment to prepare the next picture. Please, you could briefly wait outside. Do I have to solve every single one? That seems unlikely to me. It, I, that feels extremely unlikely to me. I am going to search every nook and cranny of this place instead. Because it seems to me like it's in the... Like, obviously, the fireplace. That's where I need to go. I need to get in. But it's but it's very hot. <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, I can't help but feel like we need to get into the fireplace, though. I don't think the game would make me solve every puzzle. It seems a little ridiculous to me. Although there are lights next to it, so maybe... That's exactly what it would make me do. And it won't let me use any of my items in here. So I can't just like ice arrow the fire out. Which is bad. I would like to just like overflow the bathtub. Let me like get a little look. See here. Can we go first person? Is there a way to go first person? <gasps> is that something? Oh, 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 he's done it. He's done it. I did the puzzle for no reason. There was absolutely no reason to because I could just pull this thing down. But you guys did get to see some intense skills. You can't deny that, can you? Swing into the furry good thing. You didn't you can't deny that. You did get to see some intense skills. What? Yeah, I hate this. No, I absolutely hate this. I I despise everything that's happening on my screen right now. Pure hatred for everything that I'm seeing on the screen right now. This looks like the freaking screensaver from Windows like 92. Um, we're going to have to make our way through the sewers next time, I think, unfortunately, because I just don't have it in me to do so right now. So next time we'll make it through the sewers, guys. And uh, after that, we'll do the goal thing. And that'll probably take the entire episode. So then after that, we'll do the ghost ship. Perhaps I'll look up a bit about the ghost ship right now. No, I can do it when we, we'll cross the bridge when we get to it. Uh, or about that next time. But for now, we get to go through this probably crocodile infested sewer system, which is just wonderful for me. Great for my fears. Love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.